Now you may recognise this iconic music from the amazing films of Back to the Future. Backstage with Billy. Back to the Future, the musical, has now arrived in Manchester at the Opera House. And I caught up with the creator, Bob Gale, and asked him, how did it all begin? Where did the Back to the Future idea come from? You know, ideas, you never know where they're going to hit you. The summer of 1980, I was visiting my parents. Uh, for whatever reason, I was digging around for something in the basement, and I found my father's uh, high school yearbook, something I'd never seen before. He was the president of his graduating class. I had no idea. And I'm thinking about the president of my graduating class, and he was somebody I would have nothing to do with. He was one of these rah rah, you know, school sport guys, totally not what I was. And so as I'm looking at this picture of my dad, I'm thinking, if I went to high school, my dad, would I have been friends with him? And boom, that's where the proverbial bolt of lightning hit me in the head. I said, that's a movie. That's the time travel story Bob Zemeckis and I have been looking for. A kid ends up back in time and ends up in high school with his father. And then when I came back to California, I told Zemeckis this, this idea. And he got real excited. And he said, yeah, and what if what if mom went to the same high school? And all the things that she said she never did, she did. And we just got cooking on it. And that's how it got started. Now, Bob, what we're looking forward to from the transition from the screen to the music. Cold. Well, one of the key things was let's look at what the medium of musical theater does that movies can't do. And let's focus on the strengths of musical theater. There's things that movies can do that you can't do on stage. You know, we cannot do a skateboard chase safely on the stage. can't drive a terrorist van with <laughs> machine guns around on the stage either. So we said, okay, there are th certain things that we have to, we have to find alternatives for. So, Bob, what is your favorite song so far? from the Back to the Future musical. King Lear got in trouble when he when he had to decide which of his kids was his favorite, right? So <laughs> I love all these songs but for various different reasons. I'm absolutely blown away by how good some of these songs are. And I, I think that people might actually be able to hum some of these songs when they walk out of, the, out of this show, which is a rarity. All right. I can keep on boxing in a new kind of reduction cause it works, it works, it works! <laughs> This is breaking scientific first because it works. You gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. You gotta get going or you never gonna go. The power of love is a curious thing. Make a one man weep, make another man sing. Change your heart to a little white. So, Bob, do you need to have seen the film or be a fan of Back to the Future to enjoy the musical? No, you do not. You, you do not even have had to have seen Back to the Future to enjoy this. And I know this by experience because we had someone at a run-through in London two weeks ago who'd never seen the movie. She was 17 years old, never seen the movie, and she absolutely loved it. And this was without even all the, the stagecraft that we're going to have. So if you've seen the movie, you're going to love it. If you haven't seen it, you're going to love it. Knock on wood, it works. So, Bob, the fans of Back to the Future, the films, have been asking for many years now, will there be a Back to the Future 4? There will never be a Back to the Future 4 as long as Bob Zemeckis and I are alive and have, have any say over it. We think that too many properties have gone back to the well too many times. Part 4 would be disappointing. Nobody wants to see Michael J. Fox as an old guy. The movies are fine exactly the way they are. And so instead of a Back to the Future Part 4, we're giving the world Back to the Future the musical, which gives them more Back to the Future in a different format that coexists beautifully with the trilogy and, and it doesn't ruin your childhood. This is why we're doing this this instead of part four. Bob Gale, as a huge fanboy of Back to the Future, I personally want to say thank you for giving us Back to the Future and again giving us a nice new twist on it all with Back to the Future, the musical, which is currently at the Opera House in Manchester. Grab your tickets now. Backstage with Billy is a Billford Media production. Follow us on our socials at Billford Media.